I saw that God, the universe was correct that y'all were not doing the right things and the feminine energy, the fem feminine mother energy in her physical form was not being treated right and pretty much put asleep in the physical, in the physical conscious realm. Her subconscious realm is still working. There's, you can't stop her subconscious or you can't stop her non-human energy source from doing what it's supposed to do. It's still going to do what it's supposed to do. It's just you're not going to have, if, if her physical self is not right, you're just not going to have anything that's physical that can relate and help you. If the, just the her subconscious and the universe part of her is eliminating and destroying, you're not going to have anything to help. But if she can wake up and then say, oh, okay, I understand this part. Maybe you could be saved or maybe you could be helped. Then that's help that will help you. So you keeping her asleep, you keeping her dead and not knowing herself, that's only hurting you. It's not hurting her. So, so how do you get trapped in the matrix is wanting to, needing to be, you know, anywhere, needing to be anywhere or being attached to something you can be attached to things you can be attached to people you can be attached to places you could be oh well, you could be attached to doing a certain thing is being attached to something and that's what had happened to you know us in the ancient times is we got attached to stuff you know you're supposed to have abundance you're supposed to have wealth you're supposed to have prosperity you're supposed to have all this goodness and love and all that but you don't need to be attached to something when you be attached to something that's like saying Oh, I can't have this. Oh, oh, one day I might lose this or whatever. No, you supposed to already know that you are already loved. You are already abundant. You're already wealth. You're already peace. You're already everything. You're already everything of God because you come from God. You're not going to lose what you already are. And so when you hold on to something, when you cling to something, when you be like, oh, I get it. I'm not going to have it. Then you start becoming more attached. You start seeing a signal in the universe that, I'm going to lose this. Something's going to happen to where I'm not going to have this. And guess what? Now, you don't have all the things that you're supposed to have. So, and we're supposed to be in a more higher realm to where we're already, you always constantly growing and changing and getting better and doing more amazing things. That is what you're supposed to be and that's where we're heading to. And the thing is, I'm so now I'm going to a more higher state of consciousness um, where I'm talking more about spirituality and this might go over some people's heads. So the thing is, the most important thing that your higher self, your higher soul that God wants is make sure that you rise to the higher heaven realm. You don't want to stay here into in the lower, the lower realm. And so if that's having to treat its lower self like crap if that's having to whoop its own ass then that's what's going to happen you're because the most important thing is making sure you stop being low vibrating you stop being evil you stop being treating people like crap you stop treating yourself like crap and get to the higher heaven realm like and you're not going to get to the higher heaven realm being of a low vibration person so that you're that we're not letting no lower vib no vib low vibrating being into the higher heaven realm so they can destroy and and uh, be evil and take over and, and mess that up and then there's no heaven at all that's that's not going to happen um if you actually read the you know ancient prophecies read the bible you will see that most people think that you know the devil and the demons and all that would be just burning in hell forever no we're going to destroy that whole thing like there's not going to be no evil they're gonna they're gonna get their karma and all that, and for a time. But we're actually we're, there's no there's no room for letting any type of evil to even almost slip out anywhere. Not even a little speck is that's not happening. So yeah, it's actually gonna be all evil, all of vibration is gonna be destroyed. Um, and a lot of people don't know that because you know they don't read, they don't study. Um, they don't even read their own Bible that is, is, that is in there. Um, and like I said, we're not supposed to be on this too low vibration physical denseness. So we're supposed to be in a more higher vibrating where we have more of our abilities activated, more things that we can do activated. And we're supposed to 
um, not have you know be connected to our our ego. We need to, we actually would not have this ego. This ego is only for here on this low vibrating ram here, um, and really your ego is there to you know your well is there to pretty much get on your nerves um but that's more of a, in the spiritual realm you will you will know that um what people don't know is that their ego that's one thing that people don't know is that their ego actually uh it's them but it's not them at the same time um and it it would dis when you're in the higher realm it would dissipate you you're not connected to your ego. You're connected to love energy. You're connected to God. You're not supposed to be connected to your ego. So your ego is doing two things at the same time. So you go, your ego is what keeps you down here in hell, in the hellish lower realms. But that's only um, that's only when you're not doing the right things, when you haven't proved yourself enough. And then when you rise above, then you go to the higher heaven realms and you don't need your ego pretty much... You don't need your ego anymore. It pretty much lets itself die so you could. So its higher self can flourish and move upward and be in love and being happy and being amazing in this and all this good stuff. So, but you're not allowed to move up when you are low vibrating, when you think that you can just do whatever, when you think that you can sell drugs or you think that you can kill and rob and steal and be evil to women and you know have all this you know oh all this is mine you can have any type of energy or whatever when you think that you're supposed to be controlling something or something like that that no type of being no type of energy is going to go to the high heaven realms with that type of energy so next is the objective is to create a reality or a matrix that is conducive to you and conducive to all. And so what the, like I said, the divine mother energy is what pretty much creates everything. Like you, have, all that energy that you feel, that's divine mother energy. And it's, it's runs through all, all of us, all things, it runs through all things and runs through everything everything that's living everything that's physical anything that looks physical it runs through all that the masculine energy is what makes it look physical so we work together the divine mother energy and also the physical masculine energy and make it we work together and that's how it's supposed to be so pretty much the divine mother energy is like the ceo and she has her supervisors and her leaders and her managers which is the masculine energy doing the work and she's doing the work of just handling the energy which is a lot of work and he does the work of making sure everything is calm and peace and working order and so you don't have to deal with all that energy so that's how we work together that's how the energies work together and so, um, so what you want to do is you want to create a reality. You want to create a matrix that is conducive to to the divine mother, which is the energy that is on all of us um, in the higher heaven realms. We don't see physical and then maybe spiritual. Some people don't even think or see spiritual. Um, it's the opposite in the higher heaven realms and the real reality. We see spiritual. So when we look at something or somebody or a being or whatever, we see the same energy that flows through you flows through me. So you don't treat people like trash. You don't treat people any type of way because the same energy that's in everything in any body in the, in the beings is the same energy, same energy cord, energy that's flowing everywhere. So we see spiritually, think spiritually. And then we see physical, okay? And here, in this lower realm, you do the opposite. You're seeing all this physical, you're thinking all this physical stuff and all that. And then you might be nice to somebody because your heart, you might feel your heart a little bit or something like that. Or, you know, like feel some type of energy or even, and sometimes y'all don't even pay attention or whatever. 
So, but in the high head realms, it's the opposite, and that's the real reality. So, you want to create a matrix of reality that is conducive to the divine mother and the divine masculine energy, making sure that everything is conducive and good and flowing and, and love, and that's what the mother does, the divine mother does, and the masculine makes sure everything is, you know, in working order and, and running in peace and, and prosperity and goodness and divine mother is not it was not allowed you see these females are allowing evil to go and do whatever no the divine feminine mother energy divine feminine energy is not allowed to let evil run rampant and wild and crazy and like what it's doing you see in the black race no your, your females are not allowed to let people be evil and do whatever um you get punished for that because divine mother and father energy is kind of like parents who no you're, you're not gonna let yourself be treated like trash you're not gonna uh, do let people do whatever to you it's just like a, your parents is, is a higher version of you but also like your parents and they're not gonna let you do whatever and, and let people treat you like trash like if you do that they're not gonna like push you out there no you're not letting this them do that to you that's what that's what females is, is getting back now because God is not gonna to let you be treated like trash and let you treat let let you let other people treat you like trash. You're gonna have to stand up for yourself and you have to take up for yourself. So that's what you're saying right now with what what females and the feminine energy and the feminine divine mother energy. Um so you wanna make sure and the divine mother energy also make sure that every all her children, all her beings, all her, you know, different type of you know ethnicities and make sure that everyone is treated good like if i have a big huge mansion you deserve to have a big huge mansion not oh i have a big huge mansion and then all of a sudden you have a little shack house or a one bedroom house or whatever no that's that's not right you that's why her number one rule is do unto others and you will have them do unto you so if you want a big huge mansion and nice things and good food and all that other other people the rest of other people need to have that as well so if you don't want them to have that then you don't need to have that so if you don't want to be controlled and treated like trash and oh you do, you can't have somebody else being controlled and treated like trash because that's what people have been doing to the dumb to the feminine is they don't want they want to have all the wealth and and the control and all that and then she be all oh yes sir and all that type of stuff um, no, that is cut out. The divine, the divine mother energy, which is the one thing that rules everything, does is not has actually never allowed that. That's why you have all. That's why you kept falling and falling and getting lower and lower. And then all you've been in all this bad type of energy and bad things have been happening all over the world since for a long time. But people just have been ignoring it because they want to do what they want to do, and it's not happening anymore. So. What you want to do is you want to create some uh, reality where all ethnicities and women and both men are treated excellent, are treated good. You treat others the way you want to be treated. That is why it is a golden rule in every religion, culture, creed, spirituality. So that is the main focus is making sure you're treated excellent then I need to be treated excellent not you're treated excellent and then I'm given scraps it don't work like that trade around who is beautiful and love and we're all conducive in contributing our talents and our goodness and our happiness with each other and we're seeing beautifulness and we're seeing greatness and we're happy and we're doing amazing things that is the type of reality that you want to create. So everything in the physical, anything that's reality, you're seeing something that is the matrix. You just want to create a good matrix, not a bad one. Mwah. Peace and love. If you want all natural products that have all natural hair, skin, facial, and body products, go to my website, www.queenrena88.com. Here it is right here. So, www.queenrena88.com. I will also put the information down below as well. Um, I have 
Like I said, all natural products, hair, skin, facial, and body care. Everything's not, you know, all toxins. There's no toxins. Um, also, it's vegan friendly. So make sure you go and check those out. Uh, check out my bundle deals. You get big savings with the bundle deals. Um, also, if you want to start a business, I do have courses for that. Look on the business consultation tab. Um, also, if you need any spiritual type of healing, like I said, I am an older soul, so I understand spirituality very well. Um, so you want you need spiritual healing, you know, for your mind, body, and soul, check out my spiritual courses for that as well. Um, so everything is on the same website, www.queenarena88.com. And again, that website is right here. So I'll put the information down below. So check out my services and products because I'm here to help you and here to help raise the vibration, the frequency, get us into place in a place where we should have been already. So, peace and love.